Good morning, NMB. Welcome to Ready to Read Storytime. We're going to start with our favorite song. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at Storytime, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at Storytime, we wave and sing hello. Good job! Good morning, welcome to NMB Library Storytime. Well, this week is all about rainbows. And you can come and pick up your very own take and make kit and make your own rainbow. You can pick it up at the circulation desk, curbside, or in the children's department. Well, let's jump right into our first book. It's called Chameleon's Crazy Colors. Deep in the rainforest, all was not well. Chameleon was having trouble with his colors. <sighs> he said crossly, I'm sitting on yellow flowers, so I should be yellow, but look at me, I'm red. Chameleon hopped onto a stone and turned blue with pink spots. Walking through the grass, he went orange. It was all horribly wrong. Monkey and Meerkat strolled by. You look a little off color today, they said. I'm a color muddle, Chameleon cried. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that funny looking bug last night. What if Lion comes prowling? If I can't change that color, he'll see me and eat me right up. Easy, said Monkey. We'll help. Close your eyes and think yourself a color, said Meerkat. I'm yellow, I'm yellow, chanted Chameleon. He started pacing up and down, but whoa! Chameleon slipped on Monkey's old banana skin and skidded into a mango tree. Splat! A big ripe mango fell on his head. Ouch! I am yellow now, said Chameleon crossly. Well, that didn't work. I need another plan. Easy, said Monkey. Later, as Chameleon lay deep in thought on his favorite branch, two figures tiptoed up. Lion is coming, they shouted. It's Lion! Ah! Chameleon tried to turn green, but he went purple. He leapt towards some purple flowers to hide. Splash! Chameleon fell into a river. Ugh! Coughing and sputtering, he scrambled aboard a floating log. Only joking, shouted Monkey and Meerkat. We thought if we gave you a scare, your colors would work. That night, Monkey and Meerkat met in secret to make more plans. What a great idea, whispered Monkey. Let's do it. By dawn, they were ready for action. This disguise is really scary, Meerkat said. The fright will definitely make Chameleon's wacky colors work. Stand by, hushed Monkey. Chameleon is coming. Grrr! With a great rumbling roar, Monkey leapt out. Help! It's a lion! Chameleon gasped. He tried to turn green, but he went red. Only me, laughed Monkey. I'm just trying to help again. Great disguise, said Chameleon. Shame it didn't work. But Monkey and Meerkat wouldn't give up. Lion, they shouted as Chameleon munched his crunchy lunch. Chameleon almost choked on his beetle. Instead of going brown, he went blue. Lion, screeched Meerkat as Chameleon slurped a drink. Chameleon hid amongst some pink flowers, but everybody saw him. He was bright orange. It's hopeless, Chameleon sighed. Hmm, this is not so easy, said Monkey. It's a bit of a problem, said Meerkat. Chameleon flopped into the shade, fearing terribly worried. Nothing worked. What would he do if Lion really came? Just then, Meerkat and Monkey shot past. They looked scared, very scared. Lion, they squeaked. Ha ha, you can't fool me, Chameleon laughed. But just then, he heard a very loud grrrr. Chameleon froze. He looked up and gave a big gulp. Lion was towering over him. What are you, said Lion, licking his lips. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a red spotted thingy, Chameleon stuttered. No, I'm, I'm pink and I'm purple. Mm, now I'm red and blue and purple. Lion looked puzzled. Suddenly, Chameleon had a brainwave. I've got funny coloritis, Chameleon told Lion. Swallow me and you'll get an icky tummy. Funny coloritis, growled Lion, backing away. Are you sure? Oh, yes, Chameleon said. Eat me, and you'll end up looking like a crazy colored lion like me. Yikes, said Lion, quaking with fear. I'm off, and he disappeared into a cloud of dust. Three cheers for clever Chameleon, laughed Monkey. He got rid of the lion forever. Hooray for Chameleon's funny colors, Meerkat cried. And Chameleon was so happy, he went pink with pleasure, with bright blue and orange spots. Of course. <laughs> well, let's jump right into another book. This is a very interesting book. It's called Share Your Rainbow. 
I cannot wait to yak with my neighbors and laugh with my neighbors and snarf up toasted marshmallows with my neighbors. I look forward to some sleepy Saturday when every boring thing feels extraordinary. Okay, be back in a bit. Gotta buy paper clips. Whoa, can I come? New places await where I'll be welcomed by smiling faces and share food with friends. Stuck inside, I was forced to put my moon mission on hold. At least I had to rethink my rocket's paint job. I had time. I can't wait to ride a rainbow. I hope I can go to the park with my best friend and pet all the dogs. That, that's my best friend. And enjoy ice cream at the beach with friends. My rainbow is playing ball with everyone. Mine is sitting next to strangers on the bus. Mine is the sweet treat of a happy birthday. We will go swimming and play in the water and hit up the roller rink with my friends to skate the night away. My rainbow shows crowded laps and loud dinners and cozy cousin bedtimes. I'm looking forward to being kinder to our earth and to seeing the world through a new lens, imagining a universe of possibilities. We will hold hands as we walk and talk and listen and be together. Soon, with sun, my garden will have a rainbow growing, a rainbow to harvest, and a rainbow to share with family and friends. My rainbow is a warm hug. Well, you can participate and share your rainbow too. You can paint a picture of a rainbow and place it on your window. It lets other people know that they can match colors with you and go on color walks in your neighborhood. You walk through the neighborhood and point out all the rainbows that you see. Thank you. Have a good day.